you. Welcome to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Lee Keller. I'm Kim Cavanaugh. And I have to apologize for not being as good looking as Lee Colbert was on the show last week. Well, it was <laughs> fun to have Lee here, but of course we missed you, and uh, we're back to uh, uh, back to basics here with complete, Completely Clueless. Mm -hmm. We're going to be You're talking fine. today about some more drawing. I kind of yeah. started out the topic with Lee last week, um, and we know that you know drawing on a computer is uh, is different. It's different, <laughs> hey, right? Number a lot of times that people say you know, drawing with a mouse is like drawing with a brick. Uh, it's difficult to it control is. how a drawing turns out when you're using something you're sliding around on a table. So um, drawing applications in computers have some different ways to help you be able to draw and control what you get when you're done. And like most of the things we talk about on this show, there are some, some basic things that you need to understand. Uh, and we're going to go over some of those today. We're going to talk about how you can control, and I'll uh, um, bring things up on the screen here. And once again, Lee, we're going to be using one of your favorite programs. Yeah, Open Office. And uh, one of the things I, I like about it is from any of the applications, you can open up a document for the other type of application. I know, and Open Office is a package. And if you uh, saw that episode, we've, we've talked about the word processing package. Uh, we talked about the spreadsheet package. Has a presentation uh, it's got a package. presentation package, which awesome is the same as PowerPoint, program. basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're now using a drawing application, which is interesting because there really isn't anything over yeah, right. in so many places that you can do drawings like this without yeah, you, spending a lot of money. You look into the other Office programs, they don't touch it. Right. So uh, Open Office is a great program, and we get it by going to openoffice.org. Openoffice.org, and we'll we'll go ahead and bring these uh, rest of these objectives for today's class up on the screen. Okay. So to kind of maybe nudge our uh, memory here. So we're going to talk today, Lee, about uh, one more time. Okay, we're going to talk today again about op using Open Office, and okay. we'll talk about some of the principles of of using a graphics program. And Lee and I kind of played around with the last week. We're going to go into a little more detail today. And uh, as with anything else, we're also going to talk about exporting and saving. Because okay. uh, you may not know this, Lee, but uh, you can't just use a, an image file everywhere. No? Yeah. I mean, sometimes you need to have a specific kind of image file. So you've got so to do some save as. We've got to do some save as or some exporting. Maybe you have to convert Okay. from one format to another based on where you're going to use that file and what you're going to use it for. So, are you ready? Oh, of course, at the end of the show, we're going to do our viewer mail question. Uh, yes, we got another good one this yeah. week. and uh, It's a tough I, one. It's a toughie, but I think it's one that people are running into more and more these days. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll get that in our last episode. And, okay. of course, uh, before we get going, we've got to remind people that we've got a new home. Uh, oh, on I forgot Comcast, about that. Yeah. and it's channel 97 now. Channel 97 so on Palm Beach watch, County. Right, so if you're watching this online and you want to check us out on the broadcast, you have to be in channel 97 in Comcast. Okay. So that just delights us to no end, Lee. Uh, That's only in Palm Beach County Comcast, too. Don't try that in <laughs> New York. Wherever you are. Well, New York's right. all-time Warner. But. So we've got Open Office, the application, open here. And this and, looks good too. Uh, Look at that interface. I, I love this. Program. It's really nice, and it's it's again it's it's for a beginner. Uh, the cost is right because this gives you an uh, an application where you can learn how to do all these kind of things, and it doesn't cost Free. you a nickel. Uh, for students, um, and uh, it's a great application because you can Absolutely create documents is. that you can share with your uh, you know fair, share with your fellow students. Um, and the formatting doesn't really matter. You have to learn a little bit about it, making sure you save in the right format, mm -hmm. but. But other than that, it's really, really quite cool. So uh, the one we're looking at here is uh, we're looking at the drawing application. So I'm going to click on that button. I okay. hope it launches. And I hope it launches. If it doesn't, I can always go to File, New. And oh. Oh, it looks like my application doesn't want to play nicely, but yeah. that's all right. We'll get it going here in a I second. I think we've uh, abused this computer quite a bit and haven't restarted it. Now, something that our viewers should probably know is occasionally you need to start your computer up. Well, again. you do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use another trick. And I, I saw a little message appear that said it's not responding. Yeah. So I'm, I press the Control, Alt, and Delete keys okay. on my keyboard. Actually, I usually hold down Control, Alt, and then Tap, Delete. Okay. When I do that, that's going to bring this little window up. And I can click on the Task Manager right here. And if there's something that's not working, it'll tell me over here that it's got a problem. And I can basically, I can just force it to, to We just quit. digressed into a good area. Too, yeah, well, this is go. an important thing. Now, well, the one thing I see is it, it took a while for the program to come up, but it's actually working now. It's running. So I don't really need to do anything. I'll just click the little X in the upper right-hand corner, 
or we'll make that go away. Right. So we're, we're over in the drawing interface now, and of course, leave the first thing we want to do anytime we've got a file that we think we might want to use. Save it, puppy. We're going to save it, and this is the first time we've saved this file, so we need to save as. Now, what Lee and I talked about last week, if we kind of look at, at that file format mm -hmm. there, that's pretty different, right? Yeah, that ODG. Yeah. ODG, yeah. Uh, Looked like, like dog at first. Yeah, isn't that the <laughs> character on Garfield? No, I guess Odie. Odie the dog. So it's ODG, Office off ODF Drawing. So this is my source file. This is the one that I go back to when I want to change things to the original. Okay. Now, I can export this file out in, in different formats, and I can always open it in open So it's a good so, idea to save it in the, in the native format. Yeah, you want to save it in the native format because then it brings in and it remembers a lot of things about the different tools that you've used and uh, kind of helps uh, lead you along. So this is, uh, um, this is our basic format. And, uh, and I don't know, have you spent much time in this in this. I really haven't played with this application much at all. Well, let's take a quick look around. Again, as you normally have, you have a series of toolbars across the top, and uh, you're going to see the familiar buttons. And uh, remember, we always talk about uh, the fact that if you see a button that you're not familiar with, mm -hmm. all you have Roll to do over. is let your mouse rest on it for a second. We call that floating. I float my mouse over the top of a button. It gives me a little tooltip that shows me what to do. Now, the main drawing toolbox in open office is down at the bottom. Oh, that's an interesting place. Can you move it? Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. I'm really used to having my toolbars right here. So I've got, basically, I grab the toolbar here. And you can and, put it at the side. And I can put it at the top. Or, as I see, it's got a little arrow that appears, or a little box mm -hmm. that appears when I get it to that point. And I like, this is where I like to have my Yeah, that's where I like it on a graphics program. Right. So, at, you know, as we go down the toolbar here, we can look at the different options that we have. Number one in a graphics program that is That select always. tool is so important. Yeah, if you, if it, there's an old saying in the Photoshop world that says if you don't select, you can't have an effect. Trite, but true. Uh, yeah. If I've got an object in a drawing or really even in a word processor and I want to change it, the first thing I have to do is tell the computer what it is that I want to change. And I do about that, that by using the selection tool. Now, you know we're going to have a few people out there that are a little more advanced in graphic design. Right, they might right. have used a, a higher end program. Does this do layers at all? Uh, why would you ask me a question like that, Lee? Oh, because I was curious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not certain that I've found layers yet. I think this is all pretty much a flattened okay. kind of environment. But we'll try to dig into that before we end the show today. So here in my tools panel, I'm going to slide mm -hmm. down. And you see my basic shapes here. And uh, if I want to draw an arrow, for instance, I, I just select the tool in the toolbox. Nice. And I come out and I, and I draw away. Uh, if I want to create a rectangle, I select it in the toolbox. I come out and I draw away. Now, when we come back from the break, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at some of the ways that you can then modify those basic shapes, take those oh, and turn okay. them into something much different and much better than just a simple blue box. Sounds like a great idea. Okay. So don't go to it.